Welcome to Picture Healer Channel. This is Shi Tian. Today we are going to look at the monthly flying star feng shui chart for November 2020. The monthly feng shui chart is based on the lunar calendar. So the actual day starts from November 8th until December 7th. And that's the lunar month of September. This is November's monthly chart with number 8 in the center. This chart is actually exactly the same as the period A chart. In the past, we look at the yearly chart, the period A chart, and the monthly chart, and the interaction of the three numbers will create certain energy. For this month, it's much simpler because the November's monthly chart is exactly the same as the period A chart. So we only have two numbers. For combination. If you remember last month, we have three continuous numbers in every section. For example, the 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. And that usually indicates trouble and it's an inauspicious sign according to Flying Star Feng Shui. And this month, we don't have that, but we do have two continuous numbers, 6, 7, 2, 3, Four, five. It is still not the best, but it's much better than last month. Here is a color-coded chart for overview, and the lucky areas are in red color. So that's the center, west, and northwest. And the green areas are related to illness. So if you are concerned about your health, pay attention to the southwest and northeast and the yellow areas have mixed luck. So basically, you set up important space in the lucky areas for this month, or just spend more time in the lucky sectors of your house. And we will start with the center area, because the center usually symbolizes the overall luck for this month. And in November, the center has very good combination, number seven and number eight. The number eight star is an earth star and it generates the number seven, the metal star. So it's a generating cycle based on the five element theory. And this combination can bring happy relationship, good luck in investment, and overall financial luck and fame. So the center is a very auspicious area in November. You can spend more time here or set up money enhancers in the center. The next sector is the West. The monthly flying star number is 1. And both 9 and 1 are auspicious stars. So this is also a very lucky area. This combination can bring prosperity, wealth, and offspring luck or the health luck. The number one star belongs to the water element and the number nine belongs to the fire. So there is a fire water conflict that can bring some unexpected change or loss. The next area is northwest and the combination is eight and nine. And both eight and nine are very auspicious numbers, especially in period eight. And the number 9 star belongs to the fire element, and it generates the number 8 star, the earth element. So this is a very good relationship, and it can indicate wealth, career success, fame, and festive event. So this is also a good place to set up money enhancers or set up important rooms. So far, the center, west, and northwest are very auspicious, and those are the best directions in November. The next direction is the north. The monthly star is number four, and the yearly star is number three. And both three and four belong to the wood element, based on the five element theory. The number three flying star is related to conflict and argument. And number four is related to intelligence and popularity. So the 3-4 combination can bring unexpected events 
and the tendency for relationship trouble. And watch out for the possible illness, especially related to wood type of disease. In Chinese medicine, that's related to liver or gallbladder. The next area is northeast, and the monthly star is number two, and the yearly star is number one. The number two is an earth star and controls the number one water star, so that's a controlling relationship. And the number two is also the illness star, so the conflict of the one and two star can bring illness and the imbalance of male female power, so that can create disharmony in relationship, especially between male and female. And a typical feng shui cure to counter the number two illness star is to place some metal objects such as a bronze bell, a wind chime, or a metal clock. Anything metal will reduce the power of the earth and reduce the energy of the number two star. And the metal objects can also balance the earth and the water element. So that's the best feng shui cure for northeast in November 2020. The next direction is the east, and the monthly star is number six. The yearly star is number five. The number five is an earth star, and it generates number six, the metal star. And in another words, the metal star reduces the number five earth star. And you probably know the number five star is a star of misfortune. So the power of the Earth star is reduced in this combination. And the five six combination can indicate wealth, luck, especially for physical types of career, such as police, military, or firefighters. So the feng shui cure here is the same as the northeast. Both number two star and number five stars belong to the earth element, and we can use metal objects to reduce the earth and reduce the negative energy of the stars. The next area is the southeast. We have number six and number seven stars here. Both number six and seven stars belong to metal element according to the five element theory. And this is a classic sword five combination because both stars are metal. So that means there's an energy of fighting, argument, possible legal trouble, or accident and injury. On the good side, this combination can mean power and fame and high social status. And the best feng shui cure here is the water element because the water can reduce the metal based on the five element chart. And you can place salt water cure. That's also a classic way to absorb all the negative energy and reduce the fighting and the conflicting energy of six and seven combination. The next area is the south. We have number two and number three stars. The number three is a wood star, and it controls the number two earth star. This is a typical bullfight combination. It's very similar to the six seven combination. It can bring you legal trouble, argument, fighting, and all kinds of conflict because the number two is an illness star. So the two, three combination can bring serious illness or health problems. And to reduce the power of the number two illness star, again, we can add metal objects here because the number two is earth element and metal can reduce the earth. So we can add bronze bell, wind chime, or anything metal here. And another feng shui cure is to add fire element, such as red color or candle or lighting to reduce the bullfight of the two, three combination stars.
The last area is the southwest. We have four and five combination. The number four star belongs to the wood element, and it controls the number five, the earth element. So that's a controlling cycle. That means there will be conflict and stress. Um, both stars are not tiny star in period eight, so their negative side will show more. The number four star is a star of wisdom, and it can bring intelligence or exam luck. So this is a good place for study room, but the number five star is a misfortune star that can bring you illness or all kinds of misfortune. So the classical feng shui cure again is using the metal objects to reduce the earth of the number five star, and we also want to avoid any construction here, and try to keep the place quiet. So we don't stir up the energy of the number five star. Here is a chart of the summary for different areas with different feng shui cures. We can add metal objects in the northeast, east, south, and southwest. In the southeast, we can add water element, for example, the salt water cure to balance the six and seven stars energy. For the south, we can add metal and the fire element here, because the fire element can balance out number two and number three stars, and this can be either material of the five element or just the color representing the element. So for the months of November, we can take advantage of the center area, the west and the northwest direction. We can spend more time here or set up important rooms here. I hope this chart is clear enough and helpful. Thank you for watching today, and talk to you next week.